Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Animation Station from Sample Logic. Now, before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, comment down below, let us know what you think, and of course, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. So Sample Logic has asked me to kind of show off their new plugin animation station. Uh, this is their first VST standalone plugin as opposed to everything they've done in the past has been contact libraries. So it's kind of a big deal for them. So we're going to check it out here. I know there's lots of really nice videos on this already, uh, but what I wanted to do is kind of do my usual hands-on type thing and show how I use this in the orchestral hybrid track. You guys know I mostly do orchestral music uh, professionally, so here I wanted to show how I can use it there. Now I'm going to have it on strings um, as well as drums and some synths. So real quick, it's a arpeggiator plugin so to load it up we're gonna have to load up an instance of this and then set our MIDI input for our contact instrument or VST sampler whatever um, so that the input of that is coming from animation station it's very simple to do so when you hit a chord instead of just playing that chord it will do it in the animation station style Um, I'm going to turn my camera on down here so you can see all I'm doing is holding a chord. I'm not actually playing the notes here. So everything is customizable within the GUI, of course. Um, you can start with a preset. We look here at the presets. We have standard, transpose, glitched, and drum machine. Um, but it's very, very deep. Just like all of Sample Logic's contact instruments, it's incredibly deep with what you can do uh, with each of these steps, the different effects, the different... Um, you can do stutter and glitch type effects. You can set all kinds of different things within this. So definitely check this, this out because uh, I'm mainly sticking with the presets here for this demonstration. So again, just play a string chord and we get this nice uh, sequence. So you can also do the same things with synths, but also with um, drums. So I used the, you know, a dama uh, the Damage 2 drum epic percussion library, but I didn't play any single notes. I, I just used the sequence from Animation Station to perform the drums. So we can use it on synths here. So that gets a really nice movement and arpeggiation to that synth chord, uh, which is a lot of fun to even just kind of go open this up and just hit randomize. And you, um, there's a dice icon here, and you will never know what you can get. It can make a lot of fun out of using just kind of basic pads or chords and making them these nice, you know, arpeggio clouds that you can then use the filters like I've done here. Um, and then let's see, here's the drums. So you hear there's a little roll there at the end and right here, watch right here, um, I've set this the stutter right here to uh, 164 and then down here it's a 32nd note. So it will, whoops, it will, it will do like a little drum roll there which is really really nice and then of course raising or lowering this will adjust the velocity. So let's check that out real quick, uh, pay attention to those little rolls there because they add a lot to the uh, overall sequence. So you can do little things like that, of course, within the sequencer itself. Then we have a bass here. And then finally, a, a final synth down here. You get some cool filters going on there. Now let's check out the full finished track. Um, the only things I don't use Animation Station on 
are the orchestral, the full orchestra there. Everything else, as you can see, is using Animation Station to perform and use the sequences. Let's check it out.